the Fred Winter Juvenile Handicap Hurdle will close day one of the Cheltenham Festival, race 13. It's for four-year-old hurdlers, juveniles, and it's over two miles. And at the top we've got Anthelian Damsel for Stu Gray, Royal Pawn, Craig Beckwith, Regal Mount, Martin Needham, Kobayashi Maru, and Yasabo the Clermont for Padraig Hogan, Imaginary Symbol for Alex Cherry, and the Dark Order for Matt Cooper. So just seven in this. is definitely a lack of four-year-old hurdlers this season. The field for the Triumph isn't that big either. And the anti-post favourite for the Triumph missing, of course, due to ground conditions. And they're away and racing. And Steve Gray will be hoping that Anthelian Damsel can make up for that and win this other four-year-old race at the festival. This one's a handicap. The Triumph is a level weights affair. They're over the first of the eight. And maybe more importantly for that Steve Gray horse, the race on day three is over an extra furlong. But it's the Dark Order. He's gone into the lead. Stuber and Padraig Hogan, the only two trainers in the field who've had a winner so far today. Joshua Sutherland's had three. Two each for David Hooley and Vinnie Gerard. As they get over the second. David Ross and Graham Clutterbuck. And also picked up a winner. It's the Dark Order in the lead. Well, somebody else is one as well, I think. I think I've done by the release. I've commentated on it earlier, so I should know. But it's the Dark Order in the lead. On Regal Mount second. In Kobayashi Maru, an imaginary symbol. Second of the Greys, Anthelian Damsel is next. Oh, Paul after that, and finally, Yasabo the Clermont. As they take the third. Got a winner was Leon. Anyway, it's the Dark Order who's got the lead. Or Matt Cooper, Regal Mount second. They take the fourth. It's then all over so far. Really good jump by Imaginary Symbol. Who's jumped through in the second. The Dark Order in the lead from Imaginary Symbol second. Regal Mount on the inside third. And Thelian Damsel on the outside fourth. And the two greys between them, Kobayashu. Maru, who's been driven through now to come and challenge for the lead as they take the fifth, and Kobayashi Maru might have landed in front there, and now Anthelian Damsel has decided to come in for a bit of a run as well. This one is getting quite interesting. Regal Mount now on, who's been driven along, so nothing wants to get left behind too much. Royal Pawn and Yasabo the Clermont are the only two who are playing it differently, and they're going to try and call the late run by the looks of them, but Kobayashi Maru is into the lead. Now even the back pair are being driven along there, and it's probably going to get a sprint to the finish here. Kobayashi Maru has taken it up for Padre Gogan. Over the third last he goes from Anthenian Damsel and Imaginary Symbol. Then comes the Dark Order and Yasabo de Clermont, Regal Pawn and Royal Mount are after that one. They're heading down towards the final two. And it's Gabayashu Maru who lands in the lead from top weight Anthenian Damsel. Then comes Regal Mount in third. The imaginary symbols after that. These four are the only ones left in it really as they come down towards the final flight. And could Kobayashu Maru give Padraig Hogan a day one double? It's Kobayashu Maru who's clear from Regal Mount and Anthelian Damsel. They come down towards this final flight. He jumps it slowly. Regal Mount and Anthelian Damsel jumps it best. So too did imaginary symbol on the outside. Kobayashu Maru is holding on and takes it from Regal Mount in second Anthelium Damsel was third imaginary symbol was fourth and Kobayashi Maru we seem to have gone back onto the other course again takes that one for Padre Gogan two winners on day one for him Regal Mount second for Martin Lidham Anthelium Damsel Stu Gray was third imaginary symbol Alex Cherry fourth and Royal Pawn for Craig Beckwith was fifth so day one of your Cheltenham Festival 13 races Today we've seen three winners for Joshua Sutherland, two for David Hooney, two for Vinnie Gerrard, two for Patrick Hogan, then we've had one for David Robertson, one for Leon, one for Stu Gray, and one for Graham Clutterbuck. So spreading the winners around a little bit. We'll be back tomorrow 
with day two of the festival and some hunter chasing as well from somewhere or other I can't remember.